Steam engines are one tier up from redstone engines. They're relatively cheap to build, they don't require active cooling, and they use easily obtainable fuel. This is a list of some of the most popular fuel sources the steam engine can use. They will heat up at different rates depending on the fuel they're using. Sticks and saplings are the lowest tier of fuel and they will never cause the engine to overheat. All other higher tier fuel sources will cause the engine to heat up over time. It's often best to switch the engine off after processing a full stack of fuel in order to give it some time to cool down. They have four efficiency stages, blue, green, orange and red. It's best to keep them between the blue and green stages as they can and most likely will explode fairly quickly after reaching the red stage as seen here. If you keep them in the blue stage they'll generate one megajoule of energy per tick which means you'll need exactly ten of them to power a pump at full capacity. They're really simple to build, all you need to do is place them down one space apart. Now you're going to need something to switch them on, so here I'm using a lever but you can use a redstone cabling or some sort of circuit. Now you're going to need a conductive pipe to carry the power away, so here I'm using a gold conductive pipe. Now above each of the engines you're going to need a wooden conductive pipe. And then of course a fuel source, so here I'm using wood. Okay, so I'm just going to start those up. And there you go.